Ivana have spent the better part of half an hour trying to make the opening of a box look kind of interesting. Uh, let me explain to you what this is. This is an HP Color LaserJet printer. Color LaserJet printers or LaserJet printers in general are typically the types of printers that you would find in an office environment, not typically something that you would find in a residential or home environment. Now, why did I purchase this? I purchased it for one simple reason. I've gotten very frustrated with color inkjet printers clogging up where the ink cartridge is drying up and then the printer is useless and the ink cartridges are useless and you find yourself throwing it away in a couple years, especially if you're somebody like me that prints a very low volume, okay? Now that sounds kind of funny because this printer, the monthly duty cycle of this printer is 50,000 pages. That's what this printer was designed to be able to handle normally is 50,000 pages a month. And somebody like me who maybe prints 10 to 12 pages a month on average uh, would prefer something like this because the drying up of ink cartridges is so annoying. Now, I'll put that into perspective for you all here in a moment. So as far as showing you what I mean in terms of an inkjet printer, I'll start out by getting my old inkjet printer set up right here and showing you some of the frustrations that I've had to deal with it. Now let's make it magically appear. Are you ready? Ding! Wow! That just appeared here. How convenient is that? It's all set up and plugged in and everything too. Let me go ahead and uh, show you some of the issues that I've had with this printer. So I purchased this printer new probably about a year and a half ago and it cost somewhere in the neighborhood of about, I want to say $60. It came with a starter ink cartridge kit of sorts. I didn't get very many pages out of it before they dried up, which seems to be the issue that I found with any of these office jet inkjet type printers. So I have had to replace the ink cartridges in it. Now let me go ahead and show you because these ink cartridges have been replaced, I want to say probably about eight months ago, and show you what it is that I'm getting when I try to make a copy of something. So as you can see, this piece of paper here, this is from some delivery company, uh, something that I bought from Costco. Um, so there's some color to it, it's yellow-ish, with some lines on it, and uh, it's, got, uh, some, it's got some black writing on it and the lines are red. We're gonna throw this here on the copy machine, and we're gonna make a copy of it and see what happens. Copy. Copy one. Start color copy. Wow, what a pleasant sound that thing makes. <gasps> Look! Nothing, absolutely nothing, on the page that just came out of there. So, one of the problems that I have with these printers, like I said, the ink tends to dry up. Look, magic again. It's gone. Anyways, with that gone, let's go ahead and open this printer up. And let's see what's inside. I'll explain to you a little bit about how a laser jet printer works. And we'll go ahead and we'll print some sample pages. We'll set it up, we'll make a couple copies of some things, and see if we can go ahead and get a better result than the blank pages that we were getting out of that inkjet printer. All right, so here's the printer. It's all unboxed. I haven't done anything to it yet, besides set it up here on the table. As you can see, it's got some tape on it. It's got a screen protector over the touch screen. Um, the contents listed on the box states that there's uh, various paperwork that comes with it and then you have a CD which I'm assuming is your drivers and such there's a USB cable there's also a phone cord as well as the power cord uh, there does not appear to be toner cartridges physically present inside of the box 
So I'm assuming that they're pre-installed inside of the printer. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take all of these pieces of tape off of the printer, get it plugged in, and start going through the menu to see about getting it set up, and we'll go from there. Well, that sounds kind of broken the moment you turn it on, but I'm assuming that's normal. I read the instructions and the instructions said to uh, basically just peel the tape off and maybe load some paper in the drawer. So let's go ahead and run through this menu and set it up. I won't bore all of you with this. I'll just do some time lapse here. All right, one of the reasons why I like the time lapse is that way you guys can see that it really wasn't a whole big long event to be able to get this printer on and get it put on the Wi-Fi network here at home. So it is connected to the Wi-Fi network. It was simply a matter of finding it from the menu and touching the Wi-Fi network and then entering the passcode for the network. Now it's online and I can start printing to it. One of the first things that I wanted to do though to show you guys the difference between what I got from the desk jet printer, which was nothing, and how long it took, as you may remember from me making a copy on the desk jet printer, how long it took to print out that blank page. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw the same sheet on the copier here, and I'm gonna make a copy of it and see how quickly that first sheet prints out. So as you can see here, this is that same yellow sheet with some writing on it. We're gonna put it up here, off in the corner like it wants. Close this, see if we can figure this out. Copy, color, and see what happens. There we go. Let's see how this looks. Look at that. Beautiful. So as you can see, it was a lot quicker and uh, obviously it worked. There's no streaks or lines or anything in the page. So, uh, so far so good. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to do some printing from my iPhone. Now, I have here a picture of my car on my iPhone. And they say, for the manual, to press the little box with the up arrow and then swipe sideways here to print. And I haven't done anything special. There we go, print HP Color Laser Jet, print. I have not done anything special to my phone to set this up. I have not done anything special to the printer. They're just simply both on the same network and it popped up in my phone menu automatically. So we'll see how this turns out. Now, as you can see, that was much quicker than the uh, office jet printer. And take a look at that. That's quite a nice image. I don't think this is quite as nice as it would be on some like high-end Epson uh, ink printers, but it's a fantastic image. And you can see, the colors actually seem to be pretty decent on it too. Anyways, that's uh, it's quite a nice image. Quite happy with how easy that was to get set up and quite happy with how easy that was to print directly from my phone, which uh, 
Makes it kind of nice if you got one of these things set up and you want to quickly share some pictures with some people. You can just send it directly from your phone anywhere in your house as long as you're on the same network and print up a stack of photos. Okay, so I wanted to show how easy it is to print things that are non-photos from an iPhone. I'm here in iBooks. I have a manual to an old Bogan amplifier, tube-driven amplifier, and I'll push again that little extra menu button there. I don't know what that's called. Print. It'll pull up with the color laser jet printer. Now, as you see, the printer just went into standby. We'll see if it wakes up. Uh, one copy, options color, print, and we'll see how quickly this 10 page manual prints out. There you go, the printer's waking up now. Let's see how quickly we can get 10 pages out and see how it looks. And that was pretty simple. I was able to print a PDF document from my phone completely wirelessly, very simply, quick startup time. Very, very happy. All right, so here's another question that um, I had myself on top of printing photos and on top of printing PDF documents and such. Can you print from a web page? This is the National Weather Service webpage, the local forecast for my area. I'm going to press up here and I'm going to press print. And then uh, it's got the previews of the pages that I'm gonna be printing out. I'm gonna print it out in color and let's see how that comes out. There we go, that was a relatively quick response time there. Especially considering that it's formatted in a much smaller space here on my screen. To be able to reformat it for letter paper, that's pretty impressive. I printed this in color too. Let's take a look and see what we got here. There you go. It's formatted just a little bit funny. It says view in desktop mode, which is here at the bottom of my screen. But overall, it expanded everything out for the size of the page, which is kind of nice. Really quite happy with it. All right, so I want to talk for a brief moment of how a laser jet printer works. In printers like this, you typically have four toner cartridges. You have cyan, magenta, yellow, and key. And the toner cartridges are a form of powder. And the powder is attracted to a imaging drum that is charged by or activated by a laser which writes the image onto the imaging drum. Then the imaging drum rolls across the, the toner. It attracts the toner in the format of the image. The imaging drum then rolls that image onto the paper. Then the paper rolls through a fuser which melts the toner powder to the paper. And then you have no ink. So you have nothing in here to really dry out or not, you really don't have any heads in here to plug up either, which is kind of nice. All right, so you've seen it print photos, you've seen it print web pages, and you've seen it print documents all from a smartphone. Um, you've seen how quickly it warms up. You've seen it make a photocopy. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is scanned or faxed. Uh, which I would have to hook this thing up to a computer to be able to do that. But so far everything seems to have worked out pretty good. Another thing that I wanted to demonstrate is this really cool automatic document feeder. We've got two pages right here. All right, and it should be able to feed it from this top tray. We'll do a copy and then we'll do a color copy and it'll start pulling pages from the top. Look at how quickly that scanned that too. All right, let's take a 
later how these came out. A copy of a cop a copy of a printout. It almost looks identical. I don't see any lines or nothing. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. So, unlike with a conventional ink printer, a toner printer, a laser printer, uh, such as the printer that we're talking about here that produced this image, toner printers work by melting colored toner to the paper, which means that the toner is not applied by wet ink drying. It's not on the paper just because it's dry. It's on the paper because it's been melted to it. Now, that makes the image a little bit more durable, which obviously we can't do anything with the paper. The paper is still going to be affected by water, but the image itself is not going to um, get wet or get activated by dumping water on it. As you can see, the water is pooling on the face of the image, which means if you have a little bit of water on it, you can sometimes soak up the water. Now, you can see the image is a little bit wet, but it's not soaked to the point where the image is damaged. You can see the, the, the water appears to be pulling on the top. There's a little bit that got around the top backside there, but there's no ink coming off of the paper. It's still, it's still in good shape. So it makes a much more durable image uh, and, uh, on the paper, um, which is one of the many reasons why I like laser printers, obviously not using a wet ink system. So on that note, let me flip this thing over. Like I said, water got onto the edge and behind the backside, but you can tell that the ink is, that it's, it's not ink and it's not being reactivated by the water because by flipping the paper over, you can see it has not left any ink stains on the countertop. And you can see that it, besides the paper being wet, it's just simply, there's no, there's nothing bleeding through to the backside besides a little bit of water that's soaked through the physical paper itself. There's no, there's no ink being left anywhere. There's no ink running anywhere. It's a much more durable, durable image on the piece of paper. So overall, what do I think of the printer? Um, so far, I don't have any complaints. It was easy to set up. It was easy to print to from my phone. It's a fax machine. It's a copier. It's a scanner. Uh, it should be low maintenance considering that it is a, a commercial grade, professional grade type printer. Um, so far I'm quite happy with it. Now keep in mind, I purchased this printer out of my own pocket. This isn't like some of the uh, review channels that you see on YouTube where HP sent them this or some vendor sent them this. I went to Staples yesterday, bought it, brought it home. As you can see, I unboxed it today, set it up, I did my best not to hide anything. I would recommend, I would always recommend a laser jet printer over an inkjet printer, but obviously it depends upon what your budget is. This is a higher initial entry cost, but long-term should be cheaper. Inkjet printers are an inexpensive entry cost, but long-term end up costing you more money and supplies, especially if you don't end up using the, the full capacity of the supplies and you end up having to replace some of the supplies or the printer itself prematurely. So overall, this should be just one of those set it and forget it type printers. For now, I'll leave you with that. Maybe in six months, I'll post an updated review or maybe add to this video, post it as a whole new video and tell you how I like it, if I've had any problems with it, or if there's any other recommendations, maybe if you're looking for one of these, maybe get the less expensive one, I'm not sure. But overall, so far, the touch and feel of the printer is nice. The Feel of the hinges on this is pretty nice. It's even, it's not like the uh, desk jet or office jet printer where that cover flaps up and down. It's multi-feed, it prints two-sided, um, and it was easy to set up. So I would recommend it. 
If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, if it helped you make a decision, please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. Uh, and as said, uh, I'm paying for this stuff out of my own pocket. Um, it would help me get closer to being able to possibly monetize the channel. Thank you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the, in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them and get back to you. Thank you.